soy el Versena Sosa, and this is the SPBM for striping. And it's rather a simple concept how VSAN handles striping. You have a VM with its BMDK object, and we're going to keep it to the BMDK object. And you know that the application running on that VM, it requires a performance, an IO throughput performance, which is larger than your capacity this can handle. Um, or you want to guarantee the performance by uh, making that BMDK uh, use this from a uh, different capacity disk. Now, if you notice, I have the disk groups on the board and there is absolutely no host inside. And that's because vSAN doesn't really care about hosting for this particular purposes, for this SPBM. It really cares about the disk groups themselves. So in the SPBM policy for that BMDK, you can proceed and say, you know what? I want that object BMDK to have a stripe, let's say two, right? So that object is gonna be broken into two different components. Component one and component two. So next, vSAN is gonna go and ask itself, okay, I need to find two capacity disks anywhere. And I'm gonna put component one in one capacity disk and component two in the second capacity disk. It could be that vSAN could choose to put them component one here and component two there as long as they are not in the same disk, uh, capacity disk, okay? But now you decide, hmm, you know what? I need better performance. So instead of a two, I'm gonna go with a four. So now this object is gonna be broken up into four components. So we have components one and two, component three, and component four. These samples take the BMDK, break it into four pieces. So now you have four new components. The component one and two are now gonna be different from these two original components when you had a stripe of two. So once you have the components divided up like this, vSAN goes, okay, I need to find four capacity disks to place all those four components. I could put them on one, two, three, four, or I can do component one, component two, component three, and component four. vSAN will decide which is the best place to put those components so that it makes a balancing act of performance for the entire cluster and meeting the SPVM policy that you put in for that VM. And that is the policy for striping. I'll finish by saying that it's striping by default, you can do between one and 12. Uh, it's the maximum number of stripes that you can do. So in this particular design, we have two, uh, four, three disk groups, each one with one cap four capacity disk. We could do a stripe of 12, and every capacity disk here will be used to stripe that, um, that BMDK or that object. Um, thank you for watching. Soy Ebersena Sosa. Have a good one.